Okay, we're going to test the hotspot area of this Ductstop 9600 LS. I just weighed it. It's 5 pounds, 13 ounces. And so we're going to turn it on. This is a Ferris pan, which I confirmed by checking it with the rare earth magnet. And we're going to turn it on. by going to menu and increasing the power it's already getting hot I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour in there and now I'm just gonna take this off yeah I'm not gonna be able to do it Tell it's getting hot. All right, I'll put it on pause and uh, time it how long it takes for that to burn. Okay, that's probably enough for us to measure it. I don't want to set off my alarms. Okay, I measured that across. Let's turn that off. And no matter how I cut it, it is five inches okay five inches for a hot spot and to give you an idea that thing is just under five inches four and three quarter inches so that's probably the actual hot spot that's all it is these induction burners are marketed with a lot of disinformation sometimes where they just starting they have these two rings here that gives you the illusion that it's going to heat a pot up here in fact this one only heats to this inner ring five inches now duck's top on their marketing materials actually doesn't say an eight inch induction ring but most of them do most of them will say oh it's got an eight inch induction ring well the diameter of the ring inside there is actually eight inches but the hot spot it generates is only five inches in this one now on their marketing materials, they do actually say uh, that the minimum size for the pan is five inches, and that's the only place I see any sort of diameter. So that seems like a fairly honest advertising for this one. Okay, when I go through and check all my pans with the rare earth magnet to see which ones are going to work, I only have this old pan from Viking, two of those old ones. My carbon steel woks, I have a couple of them. These three pans, this is a fairly new one I got to do omelets. You can see it's got a ferrous insert. And then these steel all clad versions. Now, I've got a ton of all clad, and the problem is that these are the only two that actually work with induction because they have an actual steel insert. Most of the pans now, well, actually these two, these are a new all clad, all right? And these new all clad have this ferrous insert all right so i have these two pans but all the rest of them calphalon and all are an aluminum disc and they don't work with induction but my point here is that it turns out i have several pans that are just five inches or over the bottom of this is five and a half inches for that disc and these ones would actually work about correctly this one's about six inches so it turns out that for individual cooking uh, while camping these aren't a bad size and they're actually just over the minimum required diameter and so I'm actually not upset anymore that the hot spot on this is five inches because it turns out that for individual pans that's uh, about right that's the max size I can fit on these pans